Coach, what's your assessment of your pitching staff first four games of the season? Uh, it's been pretty good. You know, last year our problem was we couldn't get quality starts. You know, and I think we've had four so far in four games. So uh, we've addressed that part of it. And I, I kind of like what our starting pitchers are doing right now. You know, it's early in the year and it was a pretty cold day. So uh, guys are on pitch counts and we're trying to protect guys and see what we can do in the bullpen and who can come out of the pen. But yeah, I've been pretty pleased with pitching so far. This wasn't, this isn't an easy day to hold a camera and a microphone. Imagine what it was like to pitch. So. Uh, neither team went out there. You're agreeing with me on that. <laughs> neither team went out there, and, and uh, pitchers had a real good feel of the ball today. But you know, on a day like this, on a day like today, all you want to do is win the game. Tough to get the bats going, too. No, well, they didn't have much of a problem. They had 11 hits when we had three. You know, and we've uh, we did that this weekend too. We didn't we didn't start the game near as, as good as we finished it. But the encouraging part of this game was our at bats got better when the game was on the line. And that's the sign of the winning team when when it really counts, uh, the at-bats get good. On your pitching staff, a lot of freshmen coming in and making some quality pitches for you as a group, as good as you could expect this early? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think we've, uh, you know, we had some walks today out of the bullpen, which is probably uncharacteristic of our guys, but said it wasn't easy. We had to send the relievers into the lounge during the game to keep them warm. Uh, so when when their time was called, we had to go get them out from, they were probably playing Fortnite or watching TV or something. <laughs> but uh, it's not easy to sit around for a couple hours in, in this weather and get called on. You've, and your body just kind of slows down. So uh, that's not indicative of how we're going to throw strikes. But uh, it's the mentality and the attitude that's been pretty good out of the bullpen. Was this the result you hoped for when you scheduled this game? Absolutely. You see that the team on the bottom has a bigger number than the team on the top. That's the result I was hoping for. When did this game become a possibility? Did it, did it have to do with your change of schedule on Saturday to have a doubleheader that, that you guys were able to make this happen so quickly? No, you know, we, I'm not crazy enough. This is my seventh season, and, and it's my understanding that this is the first home game in Mountaineer baseball history in the month of February. That's 130 years worth. Of baseball, I'm not crazy enough to schedule a game in February because we schedule games two years in advance, so you have no idea what the weather's going to be like. You can assume what it's going to be like, but this may be something in the future that, that we consider. You know, don't don't schedule this game, but have somebody just waiting in the wings to jump on it if the weather is conducive. You know, so and they've been great. They've come down here before and played us. Every time we play these guys, it's been a dogfight. Every single time we've played them. Uh, they're happy to be outside. We're happy to be outside, and it's always been a good game. So, uh, yeah, this this might be a thing of the future. I know that you like to be aggressive on the base paths at times, and Anthony Davis uh, is really seems to be that guy as, as a freshman. I know he's from Orlando, doesn't like the cold maybe, but he seems to have a real motor to be able to do that. That would be Austin Davis. Austin Davis, sorry. But, yeah, he's, uh, you know, on a, on a cold day when you think the team's going to be a little bit slow responding, one way to get them out of a funk is to start running. You know, if, uh, you can stay warm when you're running a lot more than you can when you're sitting. So Tyler Jones gets a walk and steals second on the first pitch, and Tevin Tucker gets a base. And Austin gets, I don't did he have four stolen bases today? Uh, yeah, he can really change the game with his speed. So uh, we can win games in multiple ways, and that's definitely one of them. Speed his best, Austin's best attribute? You know, he's a, he made a great catch in left field there and, you know, hadn't had a ball the whole game. And then he gets a tough one. He's an infielder playing the outfield. So uh, he's he's a good all-around player. You're going to be seeing a lot of that cat in the future. So uh, we're, we're excited to have him. Now you said your guys hit when they need to. Paul McIntosh made a play to score. Can you describe him coming up from the JUCO level as a player? Yeah, you know, he's been, uh, he had a rough game on, on Saturday night against Georgia Tech. He struck out four times and he's seeing pitching that he's not used to. You know, you just don't see it in, in junior college like he's seeing it. So it's always an adjustment coming from JUCO to here. And it's just going to take him a little time. Uh, but in the meantime, it's nice to get some hits uh, like that and extend innings. But, but he's going to be fine. He's a really, really good hitter. And he just needs at bats and at bats and at bats. And with each one, he's going to get a little bit better. What did you see out of him when you were first recruiting him? Monster power. 
and he's got monster power. Uh, this isn't a great day for power to show up, uh, but but he's a guy that eventually I think is going to hit some homers for us. He's a middle of the lineup RBI type guy, and great kid, and and he can he can uh, help Pudge out behind the plate, catch some games for us, and give Pudge a rest, and and he's fine back there as well. So. Uh, He's he's very capable of having a good year for us. How did you uh, at Georgia State when you started? He did good. You know he's uh, he's learned a lot. You know our our system of catching and hold, holding runners is is a little more complicated than your average system. So it's taken him a little while, but but he's comfortable back there, and and uh, we're not afraid at all to put him back there.